88th Annual Academy Award nominations are taking place this very morning at the Samuel Goldwyn Theater. That's in Beverly Hills. So you're looking live at pictures right now. Fandango's, Fandango's Eric Davis is here with us to watch the announcement and then break down the surprises and the snubs. Actor John Krasinski, he's from The Office, and Cheryl Boone Isaacs, she's president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, will reveal the big categories. So there's always surprises, there's always snubs. What's your big surprise that you're looking for? Yeah, I'm looking at Best Picture. Let's see a Star Wars get in there. Let's see a Straight Outta Compton get in there. A Pixar's Inside Out, I would love to see get Academy a Best Picture. Academy president, Here's Cheryl Boone Isaacs and John Krasinski. <laughs> Welcome. What an exciting morning. Thank you, Guillermo and Aang, for kicking it off. John, let's continue. Let's do it. For performance by an actor in a supporting role, the nominees are Christian Bale in The Big Short, Tom Hardy in The Revenant, Mark Ruffalo in Spotlight, Mark Rylance in Bridge of Spies, and Sylvester Stallone in Creed. For performance by an actress in a supporting role, the nominees are Jennifer Jason Leigh, The Hateful Eight, Rooney Mara in Carol, Rachel McAdams in Spotlight, Alicia Vikander in The Danish Girl, and Kate Winslet in Steve Jobs. For achievement in visual effects, the nominees are Ex Machina, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, The Revenant, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. For achievement in film editing, the nominees are The Big Short, Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, Spotlight, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. For achievement in production design, the nominees are Bridge of Spies, The Danish Girl, Mad Max Fury Road, The Martian, and The Revenant. For adapted screenplay, the nominees are Charles Randolph and Adam McKay for The Big Short. Nick Hornby for Brooklyn. Phyllis Nagy for Carol. Drew Goddard for The Martian. And Emma Donahue for Room. For original screenplay, the nominees are Matt Charman, Ethan Cohen, and Joel Cohen for Bridge of Spies. Alex Garland for Ex Machina, Pete Docter, Meg Lavove, Josh Cooley, and Ronnie Del Carmen for Inside Out, Josh Singer and Tom McCarthy for Spotlight, and Jonathan Herman, Andrea Burloff, <laughs> Esley Savage, and Alan Wankes for Straight Outta Compton. Very good. <laughs> for original score, the nominees are Thomas Newman for Bridge of Spies, Carter Burwell for Carol, Ennio Morricone for The Hateful Eight, Johan Johansson for Sicario, and John Williams for Star Wars The Force Awakens. In the best foreign language film category, the nominees are from Colombia, Embrace of the Serpent, from France, Mustang, from Hungary, Son of Saul, from Jordan, Thebe, and from Denmark, a war. For achievement in directing, the nominees are Adam McKay for The Big Short, George Miller for Mad Max Fury Road, <clears throat> Alejandro G. Inyaritu for The Revenant, Lenny Abrahamson for Room, and Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. For a performance by an actress in a leading role, 
The nominees are Kate Blanchett in Carroll, yeah. Brie Larson in Room, Jennifer Lawrence in Joy, Charlotte Rampling in 45 Years, and Saoirse Ronan in Brooklyn. For performance by an actor in a leading role, the nominees are Brian Cranston in Trumbo, Matt Damon in The Martian, Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant, Michael Fassbender in Steve Jobs, and Eddie Redmayne in The Danish Girl. And finally, we are pleased to announce the film selected as the Best Picture nominees. They are The Big Short, Brad Pitt, Dee Dee Gardner, and Jeremy Kleiner, producers. Bridge of Spies, Steven Spielberg, Mark Platt, and Christy McCosco Krieger, producers. Brooklyn, Finola Dwyer and Amanda Posey, producers. Mad Max Fury Road, Doug Mitchell and George Miller, producers. The Martian, Simon Kinberg, Ridley Scott, Michael Schaefer and Mark Huffam, producers. The Revenant, Arnon Milshon, Steve Golan, Alejandro G. Ayotitu, Mary Parent and Keith Redman, producers. Room, Ed Guiney, producer. And Spotlight, Michael Sugar, Steve Golan, Nicole Rocklin, and Bly Pagan Faust, producers. For the complete list of all the nominations, please visit Oscar.com. And join us Sunday night, February. February 28th. So, right. Eric, let's get right to it and start with the best picture. Yeah, I think it's going to be t between The Revenant, The Martian, and Spotlight. You know, for each for different reasons. I think Spotlight is the best picture on paper. The Revenant is the greatest filmmaking feat. The Martian might be the biggest crowd pleaser. You know, I, I'm liking The Revenant right now. I'll yeah, be honest with me you. Too. Yeah, me I think too. it's a movie that got hot at the right Isn't time. Isn't Star Wars a big crowd pleaser? A huge crowd pleaser. It yeah. is. Star Wars is the biggest movie now in the United States in history. It had a huge, massive effect on popular culture this last year. Not a best picture nominee. And you have to look at statistics like that. You have to say, what are the ingredients then for a Best yes. Picture nominee? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't that be taken into account? What about Best Actor? I, Leo. I think you got to yeah. go with Leo. You know, a couple of <laughs> months ago, I'm going with Eddie Redman for The Danish Girl. I think mm -hmm. he was going to repeat as Best Actor. He would have been the first to do so since Tom Hanks in 94 or 95. But then The Revenant happened, and Leonardo DiCaprio was fighting bears and climbing yes. into animal carcasses. Yeah. And so I think that... Hard I think, to beat. I think Leo, yeah. you know, he won the Golden Globe, but he doesn't have a problem at the Golden Globes. It's the Oscar that eludes him. Mm -hmm. So I think he's going to win it. And Best Actress? Yeah, I think this is going to go to Brie Larson. You know, it's interesting. Yeah. They moved Rooney Mara, who was uh, with Kate Blanchett at the Golden Globes in the same category. They removed her to Best Supporting Actress. So now it's Brie Larson against Kate Blanchett, I think, which is going to be tougher for her to win mm -hmm. than she did at the Golden Globes. But I think Brie Larson takes it. It's a phenomenal performance. It's the most versatile performance in that category. I'm rooting for Brie Larson, her first Oscar. And Best wins. Supporting Actress? I think it's going to go to, I, mean, I, I think, Rooney Mara, you know, because mm -hmm. now that they moved her out of the Best Actress category, she's sensational in Carol. Carol did not get a Best Picture nominee, which I was surprised about. In Best Supporting Actor, were you surprised Idris wasn't in it? I was surprised Idris wasn't in it. I, I really loved him in Beast of No Nation. You know, this is a movie that went straight to Netflix. I think this is a film that, if it was wide in thousands of theaters, this is the kind of movie that you wanted to watch on a big screen. It may have had a bigger impact at the Oscars. Uh, this time around, I mean, yo, Adrian. Yeah, you, you got to go. Gotta root, go you got to root for Sylvester Stallone. Stallone. Yes. It's a great story. Yeah. Same story as the Golden Globes. You know, had, was nominated 40 years ago for this character. Now he's nominated again, 40 years later for playing the same character. Ryan well, Coogler, the director, took it to him, mm -hmm. and now the rest is history. Exactly. For them both. Could should have even been in the Best Picture, and I think Michael B. Jordan should have slid into that Best Actor spot right. too. Yeah, not Will they say anything nominees. about the fact that there's no Idris, no Will Smith, or no yeah. Straight Outta Compton? No, yes. No black nominees. Yeah. yeah. No black nominees. No. So I think that's. Uh, I think a lot of people. We'll be kind of talking about that, and uh, I think there should have. I think Straight Outta Compton should have had a Best Picture okay. nomination. I thought that was a great movie, an underlooked movie. Okay, and who did you say you think will be the best director? You know, I, I, I got to root for George Miller. I'm such a Mad Max fan. Mm. Ten nominations for Mad Max. The Revenant leads with 12. Mm. I, you know, I think Alejandro Nuritu for The Revenant will probably get it. They yeah. love him. 
Uh, but George Miller, Mad Max Fury Road, that's my movie. I want that to win Best Picture. I think if Mad Max wins Best Picture, 2015 is a year we talk about for a long time. But Alejandro, the, the job he did was amazing. You've got a great Mad Max story about the editing category. Yes. You've got to feel good about that. Margaret Sixel was nominated for Mad Max Fury Road. She is George Miller's wife, has never edited an action movie before. And George Miller went to her. He says, I don't want to go to the, one of the typical guys because it's just going to look like every other action movie. I don't want this to look like every other action movie. And this woman, I think, next to George Miller, is responsible for taking hundreds of hours of footage and crafting this masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, and so I, I'm rooting for Margaret Sixel. I think it's a great story. I hope she wins. So how do you feel you've about me, Mad Max? I, was yeah. say, I, I know. I want to look at that movie. I don't know. I like it a little bit. You've turned me on to Mad Max, <laughs> yeah, Eric me Davis. Too, Thank you. Thank you, Eric.